The Humble Caliph During the Famine Long, long ago, during the time of Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, there was a long and terrible drought that came over the entire Arabian Peninsula. The weather was boiling hot, black dust storms blew all over the empire, and the wind was so hot that it would start to burn the skin as if it was hot ashes. The people of the empire called it the year of ashes. There was no water to grow crops and no way to feed the animals. The drought caused the great famine. Because of the great hardships, the people traveled far and long to the main center of that empire, Medina. There were many refugee camps set up all around Medina. During this time, every night, Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu would walk around the streets of Medina to make sure that his people had something to eat. One time, he saw a woman and her children were sitting outside. They had a pot of water lit over the fire. But there was nothing in the pot except water. The mother stirred up the pot pretending to cook since she was trying to calm down her children hoping that they would fall asleep in the meantime. But the pain in their stomach was so strong that they cried out in hunger. Seeing this, Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu came to the mother. The woman did not know he was the Caliph. To understand what was going on, he asked her what she thought about the Caliph, the leader of the empire. Right away, she told him, I complain to Allah about Umar. Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu told her that maybe he doesn't know that your situation is like this. The woman complained to him that he was the leader that doesn't even know how his own people are living. Right away, Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu quickly went to the Baytul Mal, where all the state's money and food were stored. He asked his people to give him a sack of grain and put it on his back. Hearing this, the caretaker of Baytul Mal said that you're our leader, give it to me, I will carry it. Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu strongly said, no, put it on my back. Again, the caretaker did not want the Caliph of the Muslim empire to carry it himself. Then the Caliph said, will you also carry my sins on the day of judgment? So put it on my back. Then the most powerful person in the empire carried the sack of grain on his back and walked all the way to the woman and her hungry children. Right away, he made a fire and started cooking the food all by himself. He gave food to all of them but did not leave until he made sure that the children were full and were smiling and playing again. <laughs> During all of this, the mother of the children still did not know that he was Caliph Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu and said happily, I swear by Allah that you are better than Umar. This beautiful story shows us that we should always give to others as much as we can, especially helping those in need, and never see ourselves as being better than anyone else. Because we are all humans and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will count every single one of our actions. So it is important that we always try our best. That was the end of our story for today. Oh, and before you go, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel 
so that you and many more people can be reminded how we can become better Muslims and make our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. And now, until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Join us in this great dawa work and get countless of rewards during the month of Ramadan by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter. And inshallah, Allah will give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter. Zazakallah, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you are safe during this time. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum.